can speak uh, with, to where, where are we heading? I'm just trying to figure out what's the impact of this area like for for the charges that came up prior with the gaming machines a lot of the concern was that these gaming machines were contributing to a larger problem in this area of just illegal activity which is a con so I'm just trying to figure out is what what's going on on this site at this loc at this location um, that's not part of what's in front of us okay I just know there is there is some impact there because okay, that's consideration you need to take into your when you make your motion but and that's and that's what I'm trying to figure yeah. out how to craft it based off of that information because I'm just trying to see how is this context different from the context that we considered when we had the prior cases before the board if it is different well, it's, it's it's different in as much as uh, this one the charges and specifications are different than the other ones and these cases to the most part have to be taken independently you can't can't start I mean we have to be consistent obviously but we have to be mindful that what's in front of us is what's in front of us um, to the circumstances and, and make a decision accordingly. Well, I, my my thing is I do want, I do want to be consistent. I, I guess that's where I'm going. We heard a case earlier today where a license was suspended for an owner being out of the store for 15 minutes and something occurring. There was a suspension for a month and a half. Here we have an owner who was out of the location for several months, and there are at least five incidents where there's illegal activity that's occurred at this location. So weighing this, if I'm just comparing cases from today, I'm going to be less likely to ask for a less lesser of a penalty for a longer period of activity um, comparing both of the circumstances. But you can't weigh the circumstances from the first one into this case when I can uh, when considering when considering the penalty I believe that all cases should be taken into account I believe there should be some level of consistency that says when this type of action occurs that this is what's a reasonable penalty for this type of action because if somebody does the same thing yesterday and they come before the board okay. and they're given a more lenient and they're given a more lenient penalty and then they come today I think that our response to those type of activities go are going to be viewed as being uh, arbitrary okay. I guess that's just so a little bit of the homework we need to okay. do before we get well, here well well I'm also being told though that because this is an administrative process that we are to consider these things today because I did have conversations offline with how much information I can get prior to today's hearing. And that's because so I'm, you I'm thinking today, is, excuse me chairman, I'm thinking that today is an appropriate time for me to ask these questions, not knowing that I have tried to ask these questions prior to that. All I'm asking, all I'm trying to do is keep this case within context of, of similar cases that have occurred. Okay, the earlier case is not similar. Well, it has to do with illegal alcohol sales, this one has to do with illegal gambling. The circumstances by which the owner was or was not is similar, but the two cases are separate. So do you have any record of any prior gaming machine violation cases before us and what was handed down? Let me ask, are we referring to the new country store case and the heavy shell case? Are those, do those, right now, are those I really the ones can't that think. sound familiar to you? I can't think because I feel I feel disrespected, and I'll say this, and, and this is why. Because I'm here to advocate what's going on behalf of the district using using the information that's before me. And I understand the chairman want it, wanting to interject into my thought process, but at least give me the benefit of my thought process, and then we can have some consideration then we can have some ongoing thought, maybe this penalty versus that penalty. But for me, I believe that context is very important. I believe that it's very fair for us to make sure that we do things in a systematic way. And I'm at to the point where I think I might need to recess so I can think for a couple minutes because I just don't feel like I should be interrupted when I'm in the process of trying to figure out how I can fairly deal with this particular case that's going on in front of me. And excuse me, I think I'm going to just, well, and if you, you can just give, you if you can just give me a second. I, in an appropriate time, I'll give you a second. And the comment is, you can't walk away, ma'am. Um, the proper, the, no, with no disrespect, the intent of the chairman is to try to make sure we don't go down a path that will later on legally bind us and get us in trouble. That's all I'm trying to do. There's no disrespect. I'm, I assure you, I assure you, 
I respect your opinion, your thought process, everything concerning your what the criteria in which you utilize to go through this. I'm just trying to protect the board in terms of process as it relates to future cases. This is not a zoning case, this is a quasi legal case. And and, and so if if the commissioner's offended by that, I apologize. I find it's my responsibility as chairman to try to guide the conversation to keep it relevant to what is and isn't allowed. Now, we can get counsel to comment on that, yes. but I guarantee you there was no disrespect meant at all Okay. to that point. I think, and I, I, I appreciate that, but the thing is I know you're here to guide conversation, but there really has been no dialogue on the board yet. Right now I'm just trying to, I have not even made a motion yet. I am just asking for, all I'm asking for is clarifying information. If there's anyone here that's cognizant of the law, it is me. When we had the prior case and I said, let's go to the law, everybody said, everybody, I won't say everyone, but the conversation was we are going too much to the law. I want to make sure that the law is being considered and context is being properly considered so that the decisions I make are not being arbitrary and I assure you I'm being cognizant of that. All I want, to, uh, my question, my question for you Sandra, we had a game, we had my first gaming case that I've heard as a commissioner. We suspended a license from what I, we suspended a license. I don't know if we did that for six months or if we did that for 12 months. And I, I want to make sure when I make any decision with respect to gaming that I'm being, gaming machines and illegal operations with respect to gaming machines that I'm being consistent about it. The two 